Hello again, everyone. The inspector back with you. Thanks for joining me. It's uh, it's Monday night, and uh, stayed home from work. I'm just not feeling too well. Um, just very achy and stuff. So uh, uh, my eye is hurting, and everything is hurting. So, but I wanted to get a shave in. I wanted to do something. I planned to do it last night, but. Just wasn't feeling up to it, so I'm doing it tonight. So, uh, let's do uh, the soap. We're going with HCNC, newly released, maybe about a week and a half ago or so, two weeks, whatever. Um, and that is Neon Moon, and nice label there. And you know, it's it smells like to me. This is uh, what a how many ounces? Four. A four ounce pour. It's uh, sp supposed to be like musky or something like that. It smells to me like uh, laundry detergent, like a fresh laundry detergent smell. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go with that. I also got the, the aftershave splash to go with it. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, I have... Okay, let's go with the brush. All right, um, I have two out. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll use the uh, I'll use the new Yaki brush. I haven't used this, had this for a while, and uh, it's uh, what was it? What's it called? I'm just thinking of the name. Um, Deep blue. Or blue ocean, blue ocean. You can see um, in the handle, it's an acrylic and it has a nice little design going there, synthetic. Uh, nice beefy handle. Um, looks like a a 28 millimeter to me from here. A nice bulb, synthetic. So uh, we'll use that. All right. I have that in my TRC unbreakable lather bowl with the soap in here um yeah i can use a head shave i think i'll leave that till tomorrow morning maybe another video maybe not we'll see how i feel um so what we'll do is we'll wet the face I just came out of the shower, so we've already washed really well. We'll uh, wet the brush a little bit so it's damp. We'll see how this brush does. Um, really like Yaki brushes. Uh, big fan. They just uh, doing a real nice job. So, all right. So obviously we need a lot more water in here. We got some. Soap in the brush, we'll have to get out here. Yeah, I used a really dry brush with that, but we need a little bit of moisture, so. This looks like you take a fair amount of water too. Oh, I didn't say most important thing before we start. The razor, it's gonna be the new timeless slant. It's around 50 bucks. I didn't buy the stand, um, but we have a brand new Permasharp blade, um, 0.86 blade exposure on that. So we'll see how that does. Almost forgot about the razor. Can't do that. All right, so. So we, we have, uh, I'm gonna add some more water. Huh? Why not get a lot of that, most of that soap up off the bottom of the bowl into the brush and everything, so. Yeah, this can take a fair amount of water. All right, so I see, all right, we got plenty in the bowl brush. Let's see how it does. HCNC soaps are really good. So, I don't expect this to be any different. 
Hmm. I got the scent popping here. Yeah, it's to me it's like uh, Tide or something like to that effect. Um, nice scent, nice scent. Okay, so here we go. We'll wet, heat up the blade here and uh, see how this goes, all right? First pass with the green. And uh, yeah, there is some blade feel here, okay? Uh, but feels good. This is hefty enough because of the handle that it has a decent amount of weight for an aluminum. All right. Anodized, clear anodized aluminum. All right. Very good. Other side. Yeah, it has definitely more blade feel than uh, the regular time, the regular uh, first offering aluminum from them, the timeless aluminum for sure. But it feels really smooth. Okay. Really pretty smooth here. Yeah, got some whiskers in the sink. And uh, it feels solid. Tolerances on this razor uh, look ridiculous. Um, of course, Timeless owns their own machine shop because they're in that business. So it's a huge advantage if you own your own machine shop. It's a lot easier to do quality control. And uh, good price for this razor, you know. Usually the price of aluminum razors are, you can expect to pay around 75 bucks. Okay, it was the going price. But to my knowledge, I could be me, but uh, razors, price of razors are, usually on the whole of the more popular brands are coming down. Even the price of some titanium razors are coming down a little bit. Uh, so, especially when you deal with like shield razors or something. Uh, so, yeah. If you don't like stainless steel, you have a lot more options than you ever had with the aluminum razors out there and the titanium and if you don't want to spend all that money or as much money for titanium you just go with the aluminum to me this isn't you know like this has some beef to it that's because of the handle okay it's thicker, as you can see, okay? And it uh, looks like about three and a half inches to me or so. So, all right, a great first pass. No issues whatsoever. Well, rinse. Nice slickness, okay? What we'll do is I'll just add a touch more water and get into that lather. All right. All right.
There we go. Lather refresh here. Okay. All right. Here we go, second pass against the grain. And yeah, this is nice and smooth. Pretty safe on the face, feels like to me. Um, it's not a, it's a very slight torque of the blade, okay? It's not extreme, so. I think that makes it for a little bit of more milder shave, but. I don't know if you guys have this razor. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Comments down below. Okay. So. Nice. Okay. And up the sides here. Decent efficiency here, I think. Yeah. Pretty good. All right other side um, for those of you who await Douglas's spring PAA drop of his uh, classic and maybe not so classic stuff, whatever. Uh, his spring offerings. Um, look for it this weekend, all right? So Saturday morning when you get up, you know, that's what you do. Check his, check his mobile site, his app. Mm. Nice. Come across and up. Okay. That's how you figure out your growth. So that you can shave more effectively. Just a buff. All right, there we go. Yeah, looks good. All right, let's go on the upper lip here. Okay, so for most guys, this is thinking your sweet spot here. Maybe just a tad more aggressive than your red tip Gillette, but not much. I think the red tip is like 0.71 or blade gap, if I remember correctly. Okay. And we'll 
get the fine points here. All right, and uh, we're done. Yeah, what a seems like a great shave. Well, let's uh, rinse off first. Ah, oh, yeah. Get that lather out of my ear. That always happens like that. Mm. All right. And we'll go to the towel. Dry off. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's the flawless shave. There's coconut water here. Very nice. Okay, before we do the rest, let's go over what we've done, what we've done, and what we've used. Neon Moon HC and C smells like fresh laundry detergent to me. Um, with the splash that I'll put a little bit on in a second. Um, deep blue yaki brush, nice, very nice. See, coin and uh, TRC blue unbreakable lather bowl. And for a razor, timeless slant, like it a lot. Um, there we go. You can see what that looks like from the side. All right. Uh, a medium aggressive for me. And uh, yeah, I, I had uh, I had my Omega soaking, my lather beast, but I decided to go with the Yak, um, and that worked out just fine. So uh, yeah. What we'll do now is, uh, since I'm out of the shower, let's put some of this aftershave on and see how it is. Aftershave splash. See if it, it's a match or not. I like to put it on my arms first or whatever. And then I'll put some on my head. Head, side. And on the face it goes. Nice. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. And um, I'm going to let me finish with some balm here. Okay. Just I got this a couple of weeks ago or so. Maybe. Furbo. After shave balm. Uh, Furbo makes some really good stuff, Italian made. So we'll pump it out, and this is what we got. And uh, a little bit of a scent, sounds nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know where I got that, to tell you the truth. I think I got the wet shaving store or Bull Goose. They, they carry that. Um, Pasteur's once in a while will carry, well, they do carry some Furbo stuff. Um, yeah, just do a Google search and there's a couple of places if you want, you can get it. Um, I got a good price on this. I think I paid like 14 bucks. Um, usually there, it's a lot more than that. So, uh, feels good. Okay, guys, I think, the, I think we've covered it all. Hey, thanks for joining me. 
physically I'm not feeling that good, but I wanted to make this and I'm glad I did. So uh, maybe in the morning we'll do a quick head shave and uh, start our day. Until then, this has been the inspector. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.